Welcome to Art Creates Hope. Today's project is to create your own abstract collage. A collage is a work of art made by gluing pieces of different materials to a flat surface. Making collages can help you communicate how you feel without using words. Our featured artist is Taylor Hickman. Taylor is a Philadelphia-based visual artist and writer. She mostly works in collage and watercolor. Taylor's work is inspired by the natural world and the environment around her. Using collected papers from her travels and prints she creates, Taylor reimagines landscapes and spaces she has physically been in through texture and overlapping forms. Taylor says, collaging is like designing and completing your own puzzle. For this project, you will need a piece of paper or cardboard as the base of your collage, scissors, glue, liquid if you have it, a cup and paintbrush for your glue, and collage materials. This can include magazines, newspapers, flyers, mail, old photographs, wrapping or decorative paper, paint chips, scrap paper, stickers, cardboard, the possibilities are endless. Be sure that any materials you are using are ones that are okay with cutting and pasting onto a new piece of paper. Let's get started with our project tutorial. Step one is to round up any collage materials you can find. You never know what you'll end up using. If you're stuck, you can look back at the work of Taylor to see what items she uses. Or take a look at our Google Classroom for more collage ideas. Step two is to look through your materials and select some you might want to work with. There is no right or wrong way to do this. If you like the way something looks, add it to your pile. You can rip out images or cut them with your scissors. Step three is to take the pieces you've collected and play around with them on the background, paper, or cardboard. As you work, you may cut down or rip some images you found into smaller pieces. Your collage will come together naturally as you work. Try as many different arrangements as you want and swap out images for new ones if you don't like them. Let whatever you're feeling come out in your artwork. Put a splash of water in your cup, then add your liquid glue. Add slowly. You want the mixture to be thinned out by a bit of water. Mix together with your paintbrush. Apply a thin coat of glue on your material Press firmly and add it to your collage. If you don't have liquid glue, you can use a glue stick or small rolls of tape. You can also add any decorative or colorful tape now. Step 5 is optional. If you'd like, you can use other art supplies, like pens, markers, or paints to add to your collage. Some artists add specific words, colors, or pictures to their artwork. Maybe now that you see your collage, there's a message you want to get across clearly. Let your collage dry for about 30 minutes. Then, place a heavy book or object on top of it to flatten it out. Here's what we made. Every collage will come out looking different and unique. What does yours look like? Does it remind you of something going on in your life? Something you're looking forward to? Or the way you've been feeling? Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed collaging together. Want to get connected with Art Creates Hope? Join our Google Classroom by signing in and entering our class code. K-A-6-A-H-P-Y We'd love to see your work. You can submit it through Google Classroom. Remember to leave us a comment and subscribe. We'll see you next week with another art lesson. See you soon!